end of it to celebrate and they want to stay as dry as possible. We've seen some of those buses arrive. I'm so curious to know, are the players going to step out, walk down the parade route in this rain? We will see. Can't wait to find out. Yeah, I'm eager to see exactly what they're going to do. And uh, unfortunately, this is just what we deal with here in South Florida. We are dealing with the rain of champions, R-A-I-N. <laughs> it's raining on the rain of champions, R-E-G-I-N. <laughs> yeah. But that's all right. We're going to be dealing with it anyway. And, uh, of course, fans, rain or shine, are happy to see the Florida Panthers. And for that, let's go more now to Trish Christake as she's standing by at the start of the parade route. Trish is ready. She's got her umbrella. Yeah. And let's see if some of the fans are also huddling with Trish under that umbrella. In fact, they are. Look at that. There you go. They are. I've made a friend. We have the bagpipes here. We are just seconds away. I've got Tom with me. Tom, you don't have an umbrella, but you have a hat. No, I, I hey, this is, Panthers wouldn't have it any other way. This is amazing. <laughs> give us a little, uh, give us some music. Oh, Let's my goodness. <laughs> it sounded great to me. It's all good. It's what, all good. What does it mean to you to be able to start the parade for the Panthers? We're just like minutes away from starting this. I am 55 years old. I grew up in Boston. I moved to Florida when Boston started winning all of their championships. This is the first time I'm in a parade, available to go to a parade. Let's go, Panthers! <laughs> well, we have our Larry Seward, who's actually across the street from me, surrounded by more fans. Larry, is it drier on that side of the street? <laughs> it is anything but dry, but you can see the buses are here. How are we feeling, Panther? <laughs> they are pumped up. Listen, they're throwing these beach balls. Look here. We've got beach balls that they've been throwing down here to the fans along the route. These are people that are lined up actually before the route is supposed to start. You're looking at the bullpen, and look at these people. With their Panthers, they have a pretty good vantage point, at least at this point. Let's go, Panthers! <laughs> very, very good spirit out here. People with fans that were given away by one of the hospitals to keep people cool are now being used as umbrella devices. <laughs> We've got one of the players here. Fans are chanting his name. The goalie. You can see him there the fans for the cheers. He's got a flag draped, draped over his uh, his shoulders. He's pouring beer into the mouth. Fans here, one of the players. Let me ask you, how's that taste? How's that taste? It tastes like victory, man. <laughs> it tastes I like love you. Where'd you come from? What? Where are you from? Orlando. Well, I'm originally from Montreal. What is this moment like to be out here with these fans to see the players on championship parade float? I mean, it's the best, you know, like, who cares about the rain? This is the best thing, you know, like, I drove here for four hours and, uh, it feels good. It feels good. Best beer you've tasted? I mean, I didn't taste much, but it was the best one, yeah. <laughs> That's what it's like to catch beer from one of the Florida Panthers from atop the bus here. This atmosphere is crazy. If we can show behind you, there are people with their phones out in one hand, beverages in another. They're chanting for the players to throw things to them. Uh, they're throwing hats it's at the goalie Bobrovsky there. Uh, this is just a crazy environment. The players threw some of those beach balls, you can see, to some of the fans here. They're having a, a blast with this. Even in a torrential downpour, <laughs> this is a madhouse. Let's send it back to you. have arrived. The Florida Panthers out here in style. They don't care that they are getting soaked. I saw a couple of the players, and we will tell you, it's going to be hard to be able to see them because of the video with the water on the lens. A little hard to make out each of their individual faces right now, but we are going to get as close as we can to all the action. But I saw one of the players there pouring beer down onto the side of the bus, and the fans just waiting for it. They are so hungry to be able to celebrate with this team. And it doesn't look at them. Watch them. They're having the time of their lives out there this morning. Not just the players, but of course their fans and friends and yep. their family on. The, that's Ryan Lomberg celebrating right now with his close family and friends who got able to hop on the bus as well. And this really exemplifies.
exemplifies what this Panther team is all about, Lauren. Uh, from the moment that they clinched that championship, they have shared this joy with the fans, and that's why it really feels so special. And these fans are there as, as we look at some of these players. Uh, Sergei Bobrovsky, of course, he was brilliant throughout the playoffs. The goal, who I think punched his ticket to the Hockey Hall of Fame with his performance. And the fans now crowding around these uh, double-decker buses that are inching very slowly here in the rain. And we, the thunder, because we're unfortunately we hear hearing some roars of thunder. of thunder right now. Absolutely, but the fans, listen, are undeterred by any of that. Yeah, they certainly don't mind at all, and they are just eating this up. They have been waiting for this moment to be able to see their Stanley Cup champions as this parade begins. Again, this is at Rio Mar Street and A1A, about a mile north of where we are. I saw a fan just throw something up to the bus, so not just the players throwing things out to the fans. Someone's throwing things up to the bus as well. Uh, I can't wait to see all of these players be able to celebrate this moment, and we're going to get a good shot of them. Even if you can't see them on the bus, we're going to be able to see them on the stage in just a little while. We really can't wait to be able to celebrate with his team. Yeah. Let's bring in the voice of the Panthers, Steve Goldstein. And, uh, Steve, we're looking at these players and how they're celebrating, many of them shirtless, uh, showing off their exactly. physique and their muscle. <laughs> and uh, certainly they've got plenty to celebrate. And it's been like this really all week with these guys. I wonder when they've got any sleep. Well, I can tell you for a fact, a few of those guys got very little sleep a week, as you've said. Just an incredible atmosphere. Now, that's the north part of A1A where the players are just getting started. I'm all the way down here by the stage where it's going to get wild. These people are going absolutely wild. I mean, I can't even hear myself. But, you know, it makes sense because it's hockey weather. This is the way hockey fans do it. So it is wild out here on the beach. This team deserves it. What else could you It is a party like we've never seen before in <laughs> South Florida. Incredible. <laughs> I love to see everyone's enthusiasm, even the little one there being carried by a, a, a loved one there. They did not want to miss a moment of this action. They didn't care about the rain. Let's look again at the smaller screen there so you can see these players. You can see how enthusiastic and how excited they are. Some of them shirtless. They do not mind. Ryan Lomberg continuing the celebration. He's been one of the more animated ones we've seen. Sergey Bobrovsky there. Kind of hard to make out some of their faces. We're so used to seeing them, you know, fully geared, fully padded up, you know, with the mouth guards and, and all that beards. stuff. Exactly. And the beards <laughs> are gone. So this is a whole new look for this Panthers team. But I think they're enjoying it. Yeah, they certainly are. And, uh, you know, it's really special to see. Look at him. Just He's beating on the, the side of the, on the double-decker bus there as the uh, buses are slowly inching their way south on A1A. This parade ride is only about a mile long, Lauren, but they're in no hurry at all as they are uh, enjoying this moment before they get to the stage. It looks like they're getting ready to get started. They haven't started moving yet, so we want to take a quick break, and we're going to make sure that you don't miss a moment of the action. 